I say everyone, how's everyone doing? This is Destiny 777 Tarot, and I'm back again with another reading. Thank you all so much for the love and support that you do show the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe if you love the energy and the vibes over here. Do check your birth charts, guys, as well, too. So, today's reading is going to be fair for... Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Placements, and Love Nodes. So, make sure you guys are checking your birth charts, okay? Thank you all so much, once again, for all of the love and support that you do show the channel. All guys i got the sage burning already so today is a rainy day guys <laughs> but let's continue all right so let's get the overall energy for aries sun moon rising venus placements and love nodes what's the overall energy for aries right now so we got the page of cups so Aries, this is the overall energy for you guys is the page of cups. So maybe you're, you know, being childish at this time or someone's coming in that is childish towards you guys. Okay, Aries. So let's get two cards for this energy. All right. I'm so God. Angel. Spirit. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. We have the five of wands. Two cards, please. Will of Fortune in the reverse and the four of swords in the reverse. Tower. So Aries, someone definitely is trying to create a tower moment for you guys. Some sudden change. They're doing some type of spell here or some type of ritual here, guys. This child, this person that's coming in with offers. Or this is you guys. So a pound of rose, how they fit. Take it, resonate, leave what doesn't. Someone wants you to release a home, a job, a person that you could be holding on to. They see that you're at the five of wands here in reverse. You're at peace. You're moving away from conflict. You're, there's growth here for you guys on the horizon, Aries, or this is someone else. With the world of fortune here in the reverse. If, if there was some type of plan or, or plot here against someone, it, it's not working. And I feel like someone is very restless about this. Someone here is losing a lot of sleep. Or they're just annoyed. The fact that a plan is backfiring, failing. This could be this Page of Cups energy. Alright. Why is the Will of Fortune here in the reverse for Aries? Yeah, I feel like Aries, either you or someone else here had someone under uh, some type of illusions, okay? With this Eight of Swords and the Reverse Energy. I feel like that's wearing off of someone. Yeah, I feel like it, it, it came and went in a way, Aries, or, you know? And I feel like this person is very envious and jealous. That's why they did what they did here. But with the Page of Swords here in the reverse, someone here is feeling very uninspired. Yeah, Three of Cups in reverse. If there was a third-party situation of some type of interference of some sort going on, it has been put to an end or it's failing or it's just not working out the way that someone thought it was. Why is the Four of Swords here in the reverse for Aries? We have the four of wands in the upright. So someone is annoyed, like I said, because this is an omen, all right? Yeah, they want to try again aimlessly here at trying to break this omen, all right? With the ace of pentacles here in the reverse, if I cut the deck, Aries, either you or this person is being warned to carry on forward, okay, by the divine. 
because this is an omen. This is something that cannot be touched or broken here, okay? Someone could definitely be in karmic behavior. They're operating out of their lower self here. Four of Wands upright. Why is this on the table? Yeah, two of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone wants this masculine here to juggle, okay? There could have been some juggling in the past as well, too. But with the word card here, that's been put to a rest. All right, we have the nine of Pentacles here in the reverse. So, could be a Virgo or a Capricorn here. Okay, Aries, that you're dealing with or, you know, you have this in your charts. Okay, someone here is, this This nine of pentacles in the reverse is definitely someone that don't take good care of themselves here. Okay, this is um, giving home worker energy, yeah, because we have the ten of cups here upright and we have the chariot in the reverse. So, this nine of pentacles wants to force their way into someone's life here. So Aries, this could be your behavior, like I said, or you're doing, um, or someone's doing this to you. Okay, they want this masculine to be in their ego, all right, to disrespect this empress here. Okay, someone could be pregnant or birth and new ideas. And it's not this nine of pentacles in the reverse. All right, yeah, this is a homeworker. They coming in with fast communication, fast movement, this nine of pentacles. They want um, a sexual encounter with this masculine. I am I feel like this masculine is definitely ignoring this person or something. Why is this nine of pentacles here in the reverse? Yeah, third party wants to reconcile with this three of swords here in the reverse, Aries. Nine of, nine of wands. Yeah. There's a third party situation that's been put to rest here between this masculine and this nine of pentacles in the reverse. There could be a lot of bickering, arguing, and fighting, okay, because it, this is over and this masculine is in the energy of being in the knight of cups upright, moving forward to, to give someone else an offer. And it's this empress that they're already married to or very um, involved with here. With the knight of cups in the upright, I feel like the, this is genuine. To some sort, two of wands is here though. This third party is not allowing this to happen or they're trying their hardest to stop this masculine from giving this love offer. That's why they're trying to keep this masculine under an illusion or put them back under an illusion. Two of wands, upright. Ace of wands in the reverse. Whatever this karmic here, this third party, this nine of pentacles in the reverse, could be a Taurus, guys, could be a... Capricorn or Virgo, whatever they're doing, it's not going to work. It's a failing plan with the Ace of Wands here in the reverse. It's going to be a fail. Page of Swords in reverse, please. You guys are heavily protected. We got the Nine of Pentacles upright. Yeah. So they're feeling very uninspired right now, guys, to put this masculine back in this player energy or put this masculine in player energy, period. This masculine is decided to go to Karma Waters at this time. Six of Swords upright energy. Well, that's the five of wands here in the reverse. Yeah, this karmic here, they're pissed off because they don't want this masculine to be at peace with you guys, okay? You're in this empress energy. You could have Libra Halle aspected in your chart. I could be, you know, yeah, Aries. You have Libra Halle aspected in your chart. You guys are also showing up in your own reading here, okay, with the full energy upright. I feel like these karmics are trying to even distract this masculine um, away from this empress here as well, too. Or cause any type of delays that they can here. I feel like these karmics are losing a lot of sleep at this time, Aries. Or this could be you. So apply the rules how they fit, take or resonate. Someone is also very obsessed with this masculine. Yeah, because this masculine decided to make a decision here. Yeah, whatever plan that this um that this um karmic had here, it's not working. It failed. This karmic is being seen as someone that's very jealous. They're jealous of someone's abundance as well, too. Ten of Pentacles. All right, someone's family, someone's home, what someone's they could be jealous of this person's children as well, too. These karmics. They want this masculine to throw this empress out in the cold. Leave this person homeless, um, with nowhere to go here. With no clothes, no shoes on. They want this person to be penny pinching, to have absolutely nothing. This empress. Five of Pentacles upright. Yeah, seven of wands. They, they want this married man to basically give in, give up on this marriage. The lovers here in the upright. These two people are soulmates, okay? They were divinely guided to be together, to be brought together here. 
Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, we got the um the Ten of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords. They want this masculine to basically keep their options open. And that's the truth. Or maybe, yeah, I feel like Aries, this this could definitely be. I honestly feel like this could be um you guys' energy, okay, with whoever you're dealing with, or some, you know, your person here. Why is the nine of cups here in the reverse? The hangman, yeah. So I feel like also someone got clarity. This empress could have clarity, okay, about exactly what's going on here and how someone is trying to, you know, keep someone stuck in, in any way possible in this energy or get someone in that energy and keep them stuck. Yeah, queen of wands here in the reverse. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo here. Okay, we also have Sagittarius energy, but the two most dominant energies from, you know, this car is Aries and Leo. And... The Queen of Wands is always the other woman here, Aries. Okay, so it's mistress energy. Queen of Wands in reverse. This person is also someone that's very untrustworthy. We got the Seven of Swords here in the reverse. So this is truths coming out about <clears throat> this situation. Yeah. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse, please. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So... Whoever is in, you know, this Queen of Wands here is someone, they're being worn by the divine, okay? I feel like this Queen of Wands is also very stressed out, okay? Because of someone knowing exactly what's going on. So someone definitely is at the Seven of Pentacles. They analyze the situation and they know exactly what happened here. And I feel like this Aries or this Leo here and this Virgo or this Capricorn could be women that are very frustrated. They could be begging and pleading with this masculine at this time and also projecting negative energy onto this masculine or on are trying to project onto this um empress here and they're doing black magic, heavy spell work with the magician here also. This Queen of Wands could definitely be doing some type of rituals here. Okay, why is the magician here upright? Whatever they're doing is not going to work. And I feel like it could be just mind magic. It's a bunch of mind games. Yeah, the tower is in the reverse. So this, whatever this person is doing, they're doing it to themselves. They could be trying to come in and cloak their energy as well too, Aries, or this is you. Okay, with this Queen of Swords upright, acting like they're caring and loving and they want to know what's going on. The Queen of Swords can also be a sister to my knowledge as well too. Okay, why is the Queen of Swords here upright? King of Swords upright, yeah. There's our angel Michael here, or there's some type of angel, some type of authority is here. We have judgment and the upright now. Yeah. This could be God, you know, stepping in the divine on this situation because justice is going to be served. Somebody could also have Libra in their chart. This empress could be a Libra or someone has Libra in their chart. Love is upright. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This Queen of Pentacles is, it, it could be stealing money. Um, a cheater, a liar here. Yeah, they see they see this empress as someone that's very calm. Yeah, this could be a secret. This person can definitely could have done these things in secret. They're losing their abundance at this time too. The moon and the upright. Why is it here? King of Pen King of Pentacles in the reverse. These karmics are really upset because this masculine is moving forward from this energy. They're trying to break this masculine down, bring them back down to size. They could be trying to. They're trying to do, they're trying to control this person's mind here, basically. Okay, Aries, this is a lot of control. Could be a Leo that's trying to gain control, control to, of this masculine's mind. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Two of Cups upright. This is, this, this is a happiness hater. Could be a Leo, guys. For real. Someone is a real life happiness hater. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. Third party wants to reconcile. So, yeah. Three of swords in reverse. I definitely feel like with this ten of swords in reverse, guys, a spell definitely wore off of this masculine or it is going to. Okay, but this these comics are trying to keep this masculine in this energy of losing control of them himself. They're very frustrated at this time as well, too, about this. Someone could also be frustrated with the fact that what you guys do for work. Yeah, they're frustrated because this masculine is still the Knight of Pentacles upright. Still ambitious, loyal, and faithful here. 
could be an African American dark skinned man or Taurus um, Aries also that you're dealing with or your masculine has that aspect in their chart or this is who you are doing this to. Apply the words how they fit, take what resonate, leave what doesn't. Nine of Pentacles upright. Watch this here. Yeah. This karmic is feeling defeated and they're focused on loss because this masculine is still moving forward. They could be, like I said, calling this masculine, trying to be very promiscuous, stay on the phone with this person a lot here, with the hermit here in the reverse. These karmics cannot be by themselves. They don't like being in their own energy, the sun upright. Could be a Leo or you guys get ultimate happiness here. Or they see that this masculine is happy. This is a happiness ha ha hater. The sun upright. Why is this here? Okay, high priestess in the reverse. They're being fucking ignored. This person is a high priestess in the reverse. They're false. They're fake. And this masculine could realize that. Six of swords upright. Why is this here? Yeah, whatever plan they had, it failed. That's why this masculine is moving on, going to calm waters. All right, with justice here, no reverse. These karmics got a lot of karma to face for everything that they did here. A lot. Okay, and on the other hand, I feel like you guys are getting good news if this is you, Aries, or if this is someone else. Yeah, because this masculine definitely decided to move forward. Eight of um, cups upright. This is fast moving forward. This is growth. Why is the eight of cups here in the upright? Guys, yeah, strength. Someone is being seen as strong. Moving forward. What is the outcome of this situation? What is the alternative? Well, somebody could want you guys to lose your job or lose your fame here. Or someone is feeling extremely uninspired right now. I feel like it's just page of cups, upright energy. Okay, because yeah, this could be in a Scorpio or, or or you know, this masculine. Like I said, they put a, a ending to something here. They put an ending to something. Someone could have also did death spells on you guys as well, too. Yeah, because this person is the queen of cups in reverse. They're emotionally unbalanced. Yeah, they're they're in vicious and aggressive energy. Yeah, this masculine put an ending to something. What's the overall message here? Yeah, this person is emotionally unbalanced, guys. They're not nurturing themselves, so they can't nurture anyone else with this queen of cups in reverse energy. Yeah, they wanted to see a divorce and a breakup here. They're very salty at this time as well, too, with the queen, with the ace of cups in reverse. They have repressed emotions because they want this masculine to give to them. They want to be juggled in this connection with that you're in with this masculine. Yeah, they want this masculine to give up and give in. Nine of wands in reverse. You guys are still at the six of wands energy. You're still being celebrated. You're still, you still have your job here. You're still very ambitious. You're still moving forward. Okay, but there was an ending. Okay, 10-10 on, you know, guys. There was an ending here. For sure. This masculine put a, a situation to end. That's why the energy is these karmics trying to come in, guys, with this page of cups energy, trying to give offers and proposals on what this masculine can do here. To get out of a situation. Like somebody could be a delusional as well, too. I'm going to pull from my deck, guys. We have long hair. So this third party, this karmic here can have long hair. Or Aries, you have long hair. Okay? We have pain and we have dimples. Yeah, so someone, these karmic here want to, want to cause pain or fight somebody here. What's the message of spirit? What is the message for this energy? Come on. Aries, someone rising in this. Yeah, I feel like someone wants power. Someone is definitely in their ego here, okay? They could be saying that they're in love or this masculine is, could be in love with someone else. Yeah, because we have not in love that fell out as well too, guys. That's why I say I feel like this masculine is not in love with this karmic. What is the messages here? We have liar. Yeah, these karmics are being seen as liars. We have pussy. Asian. Someone here could be Asian or have some type of, you know, 
Asian looking eyes or something of that. It could be in your bloodline, guys. We have kiss here. They could like kissing. We have gold. Someone could be very ambitious here, guys. We have divine masculine. Yeah, so I feel like these karmics, they want this divine masculine. Okay, maybe this divine masculine, they feel like this divine masculine lied to them. Oh, here, guys. Okay, because I feel like um, I'm in love with an African American. This divine masculine could also be in love with an African American. Okay, woman here. So something about race could be important, guys. We have unconditional love. Yeah, he has unconditional love for this person. And then we have conditional love. So maybe this karmic show, you know, just conditional love. We have short, okay? We have sex, and we have dimple, okay? Yeah, so this other person could definitely have a dimple here, guys. Let's get some letters. I mean numbers, guys, sorry. <laughs> Let's get numbers. Give us some numbers. This could be like someone's birthday, someone's age, guys. So keep that in mind. We have one, 27. We have 11, 32, 25, 17, 5, 18. Okay, my loves. Thank you so much, Aries, for the love and support. If you guys are already, you know, members and subscribers, thank you so much. Go ahead and remember to like the reading. If you're not, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you love the energy and the vibes over here. Make sure to like the reading, guys. What's the messages? We're going to do some letters now. We have U. We have D. What's the messages for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. We have O, we have J, we have H. All right, Aries. Let's pull right from the Hidden Truth Oracle. What are the messages for my Aries? The time for me to heal now. Yeah, it's time for me to heal now. I definitely feel like this this uh, divine feminine can feel like it's time for herself to heal now at this time. And I feel like this divine masculine could want to heal as well too. What does divine masculine have to say? What does this divine masculine have to say? Guys. Just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, this divine masculine is definitely in love with this empress here, this divine feminine. What are the messages? I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, these karmics know that it's over. They know they need to move forward. Okay, this could be you, Aries, or this is, like I said, someone else that you could be dealing with. I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, I feel like these karmics try to work a lot to forget an encounter or forget what happened. I want to tell you how I feel. I feel like they just want to um, kind of find their way to uh, get to get into a situation, to get this masculine's attention here for sex. What does Divine Feminine have to say to Empress? My life is not together as it seems. Okay, what does Divine Feminine have to say at this time? You are the best thing in my life. So, I feel like this divine feminine could definitely still love this masculine or want to be with this person. Okay. What does divine feminine empress have to say at this time? I love you. I feel like this empress loves this masculine still. What does the empress have to say? What does this empress have to say? So we have, I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, so this empress could definitely be doing a lot of thinking about this masculine here. If you guys are separated, 
it was my fault, but I blamed you. I'm starting to understand our connection is here. So, yeah, maybe this empress is going within right now. They could be, like, in hermit mode, doing some soul searching, some thinking, okay? But, yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, Aries, if this is not you or this is someone else, there is some type of foreplay or um, it, some type of, like, group collaboration here for sure. Okay, to basically bring down a, a divine a, a divine feminine, an empress here. Someone that could be a Libra. Okay, to trying to like persuade and manipulate energy and attack someone because they have not taken a leap of faith or they haven't left someone or haven't released someone here. This is very karmic energy. We're going to get some messages from the... Sex positive tarot. If you're not interested in this portion of the reading, thank you so much. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe once again. Like the video, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, Aries. And thank you all to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. What is the messages here? If you're not interested, you know, take good care of yourself. Change your energy. Stay positive. Um... Take your spiritual baths, okay, Aries? And um, thank you all for even tuning in to watch this portion of the reading if you're staying. We have safer sex in the upright, okay? So, Aries, maybe you need to practice safer sex with someone here. If you're not wanting to get pregnant or if you do not want a disease. Because uh, getting tested came out twice. So, just keep that in mind. Clarify safer sex. Yeah, we have orgasm. So if you're still dealing with this karmic, this person is already untrustworthy. They're the queen of wands in reverse. They're the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Or if this is you, you definitely need to go and get yourself tested. Um, for, for You could be pregnant or, you know, like I said, you could definitely have an STI, STD here or vaginal issues. I feel like someone does not know their limits. Okay, if you're a man, you could be having issues with your penis here, burning we have acceptance in the upright. So someone could want you to accept the fact that they're going to cheat here. This could be this masculine or they, this karmic wants you to accept this. Why acceptance here? Accept the sex that they're having or had. Acceptance upright. Why is acceptance here, guys? Clarify this acceptance. Yeah, seekers are definitely coming out. Someone here could definitely be on the down low or something like that. And this is a secret with confidentiality. We have mouth here. Someone could, could have got head and triggers. This person could, you and this person could be also having sex unprotected. This person could have, could have got nutted in or, or nutted in you, Aries. Something along that line, those lines. Clarify triggers, please, for Aries. Why is triggers here? Clarify triggers, please. Yeah, someone here is asexual. They have sex with, like, whoever, you know? It doesn't matter. This could be your energy or the person that you're thinking about, Aries. Asexuality here. Why is this here for Aries? Someone has a name that's not we have prevention. Yeah, someone needs to put on a condom. Okay? We have extra businessism. Someone could definitely be in that type of behavior sexually. Yeah, they could be very loose here. Role play. Yeah, this person could definitely be role playing sexually here. So this karmic is, or if this is you, Aries, someone here definitely is um, very loose. We have cock and pussy here. Yeah, we have at eyes. Someone can have green eyes or they're very, like, persuasive with their eyes and their mouth here. Why is eyes here? Someone could, like, looking this masculine in the eyes when they're sucking their dick, okay? We have non-monogamy. Yeah, maybe this is um, a third-party situation going on or some type of threesome was had. And someone could have been, you know, looking in this masculine's eyes when they were having this threesome. And it turned this masculine on with expanded senses. Okay, this karmic could have been doing this for this person. This karmic is very submissive to this masculine. They could listen to whatever this person wants done here. Okay, for workshop, they could be paying paying somebody. Or they, they, they're getting paid. But this 
this um third party is very loose, non monogamy. They get around here. They have they they could have sex with men and women. Okay, Aries. If this is not you, this is this third party. We have getting tested. Someone here needs to get tested for pregnancy or for some type of um, STI or STD here. Okay, Aries? So those were your messages. I'm going to get one card from the time frame oracle. And we have clear, we have close your eyes, feel what you want. Approximately three months. All right, Aries? So that was the reading. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Like the video. Make sure to take good care of yourselves, guys. Cleanse your energy, purge, all right? And take great care of yourselves, my loves. But this is Destiny 777 Tarot.